Hi Capricorn, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot. Welcome to your October monthly forecast reading. We're gonna see what plays out for you. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. This is a general reading. So just a reminder to take what resonates, leave the rest. It's not gonna be for everyone, but I do offer private readings as well and you can get that in the description box. If you are not a subscriber yet, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified of future uploads. I do um, upload regularly, quite regularly. All right, Capricorn. We're gonna start off with some animal, an animal spirit for the month then some oracle cards, and then we're gonna go into the tarot spread for you, okay? We're calling in our guides, our ancestors, our ascendant masters to what clear messages that we need to hear from for Capricorn for the month of October. What animal spirit is with Capricorn this month? What animal spirit is with Capricorn this month? <clears throat> we have the pig spirit. Use your mind wisely. Use your mind wisely. I feel that with, um, <laughs> you know, the, the thing is, is that pigs are extremely smart. They're very smart animals. And I feel that for many of us, we are being asked to not just think from our heart all the time, but also we have to be a little bit logical here too. It's great to think with our heart, but sometimes we have to be logical. And I think that may be at play, but we'll see what the cards have to say for you, Capricorn. There's some logic needed here. Let's see what Oracle cards come out for you for this month. We have the High Priestess of Water. And this is all about emotions, all about utilizing your heart, all about, you know, with the High Priestess, um, she can kind of come off as the emotional card, maybe overdramatic as well. Obedience, a need to balance. Lust, okay. We definitely have some kind of um, instability and unbalance here and probably a drive for something that is coming with up. But we'll see what the tarot cards have to say. But here's that high pre um, <clears throat> the high priestess of water that I was telling you about. She is a very compassionate, loving, emotionally driven person. But sometimes she can get really lost in her in her emotions, okay? So you may feel like you are over emotional about a situation here, and there is a need to balance yourself, okay? There is a need to have a balance. To this, this reminds me so much of the obedience of the justice card itself. So we'll see if the justice card comes out. But I feel like there's a balance needed. I'm feeling like there's a lot of air energy here as well, not just water. So you might be dealing with somebody with Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini within their chart. But what's next to obedience is <clears throat> this lust card. So there might be a balance of wanting something, desires that may be overindulging into too much. But I feel whatever this is, whatever this overindulgence is, it's almost like becoming an obsessive, an obsessive thought, overthinking about somebody, putting so much effort into something where it is basically leaving you trapped within your mind. Let's see what the cards have to say for the month. For the monthly spreads, time is fluid. It's always moving. Keep that in mind so that although I'm doing these, recording these in September, I am pulling in October energy, but some of this may be happening now. Some of this may have started happening in the past already. Some of this may be coming out, um, you know, a couple months from now. So use your own intuition with this, guys. All right, let's see what the cards play out. I do three rows here. First of the month, middle of the month, and then the end of the month. We have the Five of Cups, the Chariot reversed, Ace of Cups reversed, mm. Seven of Coins, Two of Cups reversed, Knight of Cups. A lot of water energy here, a lot of emotions here. So you may have water in your chart. So Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Ten of Swords reverse. Ace of Coins, Death, Seven of Cups, 
Well, this is definitely an emotionally driven reading, <laughs> for sure. We have the Emperor. And judgment reversed. Hmm. Overall energy of this is Four of Cups reversed. This is about not seeing. Do you know how you see see an offer's coming to him? There's that this if individual has three cups in front of them and someone else is coming towards them. This is the Game of Thrones uh, deck. This is reversed. I feel like there's an offer that <clears throat> you're not even realizing um, is in the picture, okay? And it might be because you were focused too much on something happening in the past um, that you are emotionally tied to. It is mentally draining. For a lot of you, this has um, become an obsession. An obsession of what has happened in the past. Five of Cups. <clears throat> this is all about looking at the spilled cups, right? There's, 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 uh, there's love, there's stability behind this individual. But this person is so focused on what's behind, like, you know, like in front of them, which is spilt, like spilt milk. It's been a slow process with the chariot here next to it that is reversed. This means to me that there's, um, it's been slow, feeling stuck. It was regarding a loss of something. A loss of something that meant something very much to you. <clears throat> this is an offer that's been reversed. So I feel like for many of you, who um, are in a commitment already, you are looking at all of the past things within this relationship that you've grown in. Seven of Cups, this is, this is this to me just feels like you've put a lot of um, foundation into this relationship. So this, this is definitely more for the people who are in a commitment already. You are focused on everything that went wrong in this, in this um, relationship. You have the Two of Cups reversed right underneath this Five of Cups. So this is, to me, definitely a relationship here. The Two of Cups is all about love. All that water energy, right? You have the Knight of Cups coming towards this. I feel like... Either you or the other person, um, there was some deceit that went behind uh, in this. Whether there was lies in this relationship prior, do you see how there's traitor attendance complete? This is reverse. So this means that somebody is still being deceitful within this relationship, okay? That they have a cup, they know that they have, they have an, an offer within this, they have love within this relationship, but it's really small, okay? They're making me look at the seven of cups with the ace, um, with the ace here which is brings it to the eight so that's about building a progress of building it to me i feel like you have one more coin to say do i want to put it towards this relationship do i really want to put another coin towards this and i feel like there's going to be within this month some some thought process on this because you've been so emotionally tied into this relationship about what has happened in the past that you're starting to utilize your mind, right? You're trying to think logically what went wrong. Why you did specific things you did in the past that might have hurt this individual or vice versa. Now we have the death here. So that's the ending of this, right? There is, and what's this is that control thing that I told you about, the need for obedience and on there. Right next to it, you have the Seven of Cups followed by the Emperor, okay? So you go from the end of feeling trapped emotionally in your head, not having clarity. This is all about not having too many choices, too many options of what to do. And you're pulling in the Emperor here. This may be another individual as well. This person can be controlling, logical, analytical, knows what they want to do, but there's, it is right in between clarity and this misjudgment that happened. 
Somebody is having a clear idea of what they want. Somebody is definitely having a clear idea of what they want now. Okay? They have maybe realized that in, in this past, the balance of this, that they may have um, been tempted with others or tempted to ignore the situation, tempted to, tempted to ignore the commitment. I feel like, I feel like th th there's clarity as to what you want to do now that you've had some time to balance yourself. Let's see what some of this, I'm gonna validate this first row. Oh, the message just need to come on this Five of Cups. Yeah, this is taking great strength. We do have the Ace of Pentacles again, and they're making me say the 10. <clears throat> um, so this is great. This is taking great strength. It's basically deciding if you want a new beginning or if you want to complete this. There's a choice here on your side. So when I see this, when I'm adding this up, seven, and I'm looking at two Ace of Pentacles here, we're looking at nines. So there's a wish. There's a real. Um, there's a wish on your side that you feel. You feel now that you're having the strength here that you want to move forward with something. Okay. You definitely want a new beginning of stability to move forward. Death again. Wow. Some of you are ending this relationship. You do not want to move forward in this relationship. Others of you are going to try to build it. We've got eight of pentacles here. Now, four of pentacles, I got to take that back. Four of pentacles is all about holding that, holding on, right? It was reversed and it's right on top of this eight of pentacles this is about not wanting to work together anymore with someone not wanting to build up anything this is the ending i believe of a commitment for some of you um this is this is wanting to work on something else new i mean this is this is feeling like logically and emotionally you are almost checked out five of cups reversed you see how he's got the two cups he's holding now it's like almost like with it reversed I feel like they're dumping the cups dumping the cups I think I think you're looking especially when I look at the underneath the deck and my cards just slipped out of my hand so give me a second they didn't spill they just slipped um, from looking underneath the deck here, we do have the four of cups. So this is about looking at, you know, again, looking at what kind of offers that this, this individual won about the wish that this individual wants. Okay. Star is all about healing. There's some major healing going on with this and major, like just thinking about truly what you, what you want. And I think that in, in, I mean, with the way the Ten of Pentacles is on this, this is about having the stability, having the wish come true. Realizing you put it all in and that you still want that Ten of Cups. I don't feel like it's a Ten of Cups with this individual. I feel like it's strength to want to move forward. I don't see another individual here at this point. I feel like it's cutting off somebody. for sure. This is a very specific reading this week or for this month for those of you who are in a commitment. Yeah, I feel like there's there's this wanting of having that new beginning. Look at this. You got justice. The justice did come out. 
This is all about wanting a new beginning, seeking it. And this Seven of Swords, whatever this deceit was, whatever this feeling of feeling like you were trapped, it's going to end. It's definitely going to end because, I mean, I mean, this is a pretty, pretty quick thing. But, like, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles here, this is all about walking away. I mean, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups. I don't know why I said the Eight of Pentacles. I think because I was looking at the progress of it. So, with the Eight of Cups, is all about walking away. This is about looking at the table, saying, I don't want it anymore. This is all about using your heart and your mind. But I think your emotions have been so drawn into this that it's really left you obsessed with the idea of what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What choices do I make? I need to end this. All right, if this resonated with you, let me know. Hit like, um, comment. And I will tune in next month with next month's reading for you. All right. Thanks, Capricorn. Good luck.